Hello everyone, my name is Guillermo Pablo, and today we're going to be playing 2-3-P Libra, which is based on many levels I made a long time ago. Before I get into it, I want to go over as to what the hell 2-3-P actually is. And it means the three Pablos, because it's my oldest level when I was like, really young as a kid. And I wanted to celebrate 2-3-P's Libra's 2 anniversary by playing through all the levels. So here we see all the levels that Rebirth is based off of. And so now, without further ado, let's hop right into this. Unfortunately, we are going to see a lot of loading screens and... Well, sometimes I hate loading clancy. So now we... we'll jump into the beginning, just for your sake. So you guys can at least somewhat understand what's going on. I want to give a quick warning. I am somewhat dyslexic, so sometimes I do have some grammatical errors. Please, for the love of God, stop my too much. Ah, if you guys want to read it, you guys can follow me. Okay, so now that we're on the bases, we're going to now go on to our first level, which is called Box Surprising. After we get through this loading screen, six months of development of for this loading screen. Unfortunately, that's stuff out of my control, so I really can do too much. Of I think it's loading up, coming soon, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we'll go to how to play. I like, of course not to play, but I just thought I'd make it interesting. Here we see our enemies, which a lot of them usually appear so much more often, especially for the maker. And I had some people play test and they did not like the polo maker, so he's not completely removed, but he's no longer as common as he used to be. I think I should point this out, but this area is when you replay the game, you get the sticker that you can use. And pretty much what this is, it just gives you access to the character wheel. And this magazine. I'm sure you they all do. I think that's what I'm doing. We're not going to be playing as a bonus character. We'll be going as far. Just because I want to give like, the full characters a chance to shine.
as an instrumentalist, I have no, I had no involvement in the music. Any and all music you hear is made by someone else, and they all probably credited at the end. However, I do know for a fact that you can get Because Little Plant has a lot of copyrighted music. Which channel am I, honestly? I'm in mean, I'm a small channel. Very small channel. I play this game like what I'm most crazy. Here you see these little newspapers. I only added them because I thought they were neat and they had a bit more roles already. Oh wait, he should be mad, he's pretty happy, really happy. <laughs> Alright, let's know that. Here we see our first encounter with these guys. Oh, look. Now, you can try attacking them as long as possible, but they're not gonna die unless you uh, toss them up in the air and keep them there for like three seconds. That's nice to mention that. It was very interesting. I like I like how they designed on. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't actually expecting to be good that long. I mostly made the combat system. And one of my levels was huge on combat. But not only that, but uh, Rebirth is actually the result of a failed Smash Bros. Uh, situation. And so, I was going to make Smash Bros. and this planet, and it kind of, it worked out, but I felt like uh, the combat would feel more at home with Rebirth. But box, I failed to get to my small brother complete. See? It helps. Really. Don't worry, by the way, once we finish with Rebirth, we'll go on to the online. I think I should point those out, but the portal maker was kind of based off of the Chuck Gear from Super Mario 64. Even though they were annoying as well, I kind of liked how they threw off platforms. And so, he was kind of implemented to fill that room. But again, I had playtesters and they didn't like the portal maker. So the portal maker. Uh, why is this? Okay. I think I should point out that I always have to fight against the low time mechanic sometimes. Which is not the worst, honestly, you'll get these to them. But yeah, as a little kid, I really loved the check here from Super Mario 64. Oh, when I was a kid, I would just like, constantly go to wet, dry land with this negative aura. <laughs> and I would just. Uh, I'll just get thrown by the tech as well. Ah uh, yes, very breathtaking. Or maybe I'm alone, I mean. Yeah. 
It was quite, it was quite difficult. However, uh, Rebirth went pretty smoothly in terms of game development. Because I knew exactly what Rebirth wanted to be. And it didn't get switch like my other projects. Some of my other projects, uh, they got switched on. Sometimes it would be platformers and shooters. And, and they would become all messy. Rebirth was very straightforward in what I wanted it to be. With that being said, developing Rebirth was a pain in the ass. Some of my most. I gotta like stay up to like 4 a.m. sometimes. And sometimes the game would crash and I would lose a lot of progress. Like honestly, it was just not the best time. How one time uh, I was looking at the ending cutscene and the game crashed on me. It meaning an entire day of progress was fucking lost. It annoyed the living hell out of me. Elsa, he turns into a teapot. Here we see our first enemy, or our first encounter. Not the worst, just don't jump above him or else you're gonna die. Kinda like jumping above the sapling, the trip sapling for Smash Bros. 4. Get my hip guys. <laughs> I think we both could have been a pretty good Smash Bros. clone in Blue Planet. And I just like the bonus of the features. But I call it this. Bird Points out that Rocky has the best open. I'm gonna let him hit me actually. I base this game off of Super Mario Odyssey Because at one point it was just going to be really linear and really linear action platform. But I feel like it had a lot of potential to be good in terms of the world really. I feel like it covered the best of those two. Definitely not the most interesting boss here. But to get in front of the boss. will get a lot more interesting and more
Well, I think that's it for today. Uh, we'll probably see another level, actually. I'll probably upload another level today and back to the place.